Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Galactic Jerry bringing another Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi battle. And this time, I guess, one of my friends, and his name is Nicholas. He's carrying a. And he's carrying a Conkeldor, Landorus, Charizard, Shaman, Dusclops, and a Swampert. And over on my team, I have a. Ampharos, a Starmie, a Gengar, Brocorona, Gliscor, and a Noibird. And my Mega Evolution is going to be Gengar. And his Mega Evolution is going to be Charizard, but I don't remember if it's a Mega Charizard Y or Mega Charizard X. Um, this is an old battle, so hopefully I am able to remember <laughs> the things that I did. Anywho, let's get this battle rolling and see how it goes. So I start off with my Ampharos and he starts out with Skipper which I guess <laughs> that's what he calls his Ampharos, um, I mean his Swampert I mean. So <laughs> so I guess I am faster in his Swampert uh, and I go with the uh, Cotton Guard and he goes with Stealth Rock so I'm kind of glad he didn't attack me because I know he's probably carrying um he's probably carrying an uh, Earthquake but he didn't so Meanwhile, I went with another Cotton Guard, but he goes with Roar, so I guess I did those Cotton Guards for nothing. And my Starmie is forced into battle, so since Starmie has Rapid Spin, I might as well leave it out there. And I didn't go for Rapid Spin that turned up. I went for Scald instead. I guess I was hoping to get the burn or something. But he went for uh, Earthquake and I noticed it did a lot of damage on my Starmie so at this point uh, I might as well go for a Rapid Spin and get rid of the Starfrog that he put out there. And I know he's probably going to attack again with okay with Earthquake in this case. And I know he's going to take down my Starmie so uh, I really didn't want my, my Starmie to be in battle already but... Uh, I'm afraid if I was going to switch out, he was going to do something else, but I was able to get the Rapid Spin out. But he's probably going to use Stealth Rocks again at some point. So, anyways, I went with my Gengar this time. And I have a Mega Evolved, since, uh, because if I, if I do, my Gengar is going to lose immunity to ground type moves. But... As I said earlier, he did go for Stealth Rocks again, and I went for Toxic before. I guess I was trying to poison him so my Hex would do a lot more damage. I was stupid right there. I know he was going to be carrying another uh, attack and it wasn't ground type. And I should have Mega Evolved just to get the special attack increase. And it would have been enough probably to take down his um, Swampert, but uh, I was really dumb right there. For some reason, he switches out and into his Landorus. Meanwhile, I think I finally did go for the Mega Evolution. Yeah, I do go for Mega Evolution, and I'm um, I'm pretty sure I attacked with Hex. Yeah, I do go with Hex, and um, I noticed that it did more than half, and unless. His Landorus was a choice card. There was no way in hell that Landorus is faster than my Gengar, Mega Gengar, knowing that my I am running a timid max speed Gengar. Anyways, um, I went with the Hex and was able to take down his Landorus, and he switched into his Shaman, which is a Grass type, and I am carrying a Sludge Bomb on my Gengar, which of course is going to be super super effective but I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough to take him down but uh, I was lucky there and was able to take down his shaman for the meantime he sent out his dust clubs and I went for toxic for some reason um, knowing that I have low HP already I should have just gone for um, destiny bond because I'm pretty sure he wasn't going to let me um, have my um, Gengar out there 
he took my Gengar down with Hex. I should have gone for Destiny Bond. It's a really dumb move by me. Meanwhile, <laughs> I sent out my Bocarona. Of course, it's not going to um, respond well to the Stealth Rocks. And I went with Quiver Dance just to get my special defense, special attack, and speed boost. And he went for Toxic, so it could be really annoying, but he's poisoned as well. And this time I do decide to attack and go with the Fiery Dance. At this point, I was really hoping I would get the special attack boost, which I do. So, um, knowing that he's poisoned, um, the damage that he receives from the, to uh, the poison should be enough to like so that I'm able to take him down with the, with the fiery dance which I am going to use if I remember correctly okay I do use fiery dance and, and is it able to yeah it is able to take him down I get the special attack boost but it doesn't really matter anymore because I'm poisoned as well and um, I am going to go down to <laughs> thanks to the poison so I guess it was a one for one face off right there. Meanwhile, I decided to go for my glide score and he sends out his Charizard and I'm not sure if he mega boss this turn. Uh, the stuff rock takes damage away from my glide score, but I guess he searches out. I'm not sure why. But um I take advantage of that and I went with the substitute. And he sends out his Conkildor, so uh, I don't know, many Conkildors I've faced before um, do carry an ice, ice Punch or something like that, but he went with the Mock Punch, maybe he was expecting me to switch out or something, but my substitute is able to take the hit, and, you know, and I still have the substitute out there, and I went with Sword Stand just to get the attack boost, and... I went with another source dance to get more attack. So I'm at plus four right now. Meanwhile, he went with Drain Punch. I'm not sure why. Maybe he's still expecting me to switch chow or something. But it should be enough to take down my substitute. And at this point, I think I I decided to go with another substitute just to scout what if he does have a ice ice punch or something. And which of course he does. <laughs> so at this point, um, I, do I want to keep using substitute, hoping that he goes with another mock punch or a drain punch, or do I just attack it? And hopefully my plus four attack is able to take down his Kildur with my Glasgow's earthquake. And I did go for earthquake, but he's gonna kill the barely survives with a little HP. And of course he did go for with his ice punch and it's able to um completely take down my glide score. For the meantime I go with uh my Ampharos. I go for Cotton Guard, I'm not sure why. Uh, I should have just gotten rid of this thing as soon as possible. And he goes for drain punch just to recover some more HP and it actually does quite some damage on my Ampharos. Knowing that I had the plus three uh, in attack, but uh, my Ampharos static does get activated and I am able to paralyze his Conkildor. And at this point, I was hoping that I would get the Parahax, but meanwhile, I'm not sure why I went with another uh, <laughs> Cotton Guard. I should have just gotten rid of this thing already with a discharge or something. And he's uh, he also has not knockoff, so there goes my leftovers. Oh man, see, I should have just gotten rid of it back then. So now I finally decide to attack. And I am able to take him down. I would have been more pissed if <laughs> the discharge wasn't going to take him down. But luckily for me, it does. But um, at this point, I was really hoping he was carrying um, a Mega Charizard X because I know it's a physical attacker. And I'm at max defense. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. He he's carrying a, a Mega Charizard Y, and with the drought, he gets a, he gets a fire uh, attack boost, and he, he went with the flamethrower, which of course takes down my um, Ampharos. Anyways, this time I go go with my Noibern, which is my last Pokemon, and I go with 
uh, Dragon Pulse, and I guess I was really lucky right there that his that his Charizard is not wasn't carrying Dragon Pulse. Meanwhile, I went with Air Slash hoping to get the flinch, and I do get the flinch. And knowing how much Dragon Pulse did uh, the first time I used it, I know that Dragon Pulse was going to be enough to take down his Charizard this time. And um, I completely forgot he still had, had a Swampert, but it said low HP already. But that's his last Pokemon, and, and there's no way in hell that his Swampert is going to outspeed my Noiburn. And I uh, take advantage of that and go with the Dragon Pulse, and I am able to defeat Nicholas. Uh, that was a really close battle. If he was carrying um, Dragon Pulse on his Charizard, or if my um, Noiburn's Air Slash wouldn't flinch him, I would have lost the battle for sure. But I don't know, the <laughs> Air Slash flinch really saved me right there. And I made some stupid moves back there. With the Gengar, I should attack when I had the chance, or use Destiny Bond, and I uh, wouldn't have to deal with <laughs> my Volcarona. Could have been alive a little longer, I guess. But anyways, it was it was a really good battle. It was a really close one, that's for sure. And anyways, I uh, hope you liked the battle, and make sure to subscribe and like if you could, and I'll do my best to subscribe.